Let's turn now to exploring the Shema discussions on the issues of Trinity. And um, we're right in the section called, Is Yeshua God? An examination of passages about the Trinity. And we've been working our way down through this towards looking at um, Bible passages that are triadic in nature and that challenge us to reconsider the complex nature of the God that we serve. There are many, many passages throughout the Bible that don't afford us this neat picture of this one single being known as God without any, um, uh, what we might call, um, complex parts to him. So what we're going to learn is as we're looking at the scriptures, this is just my own suggested way of working your way through the Bible. There are many multiple ways of working through this issue of is Yeshua God, is God three persons, things like that. But this is just the the method that I prefer using. A Peshat, simple explanation of the scriptures involved, is what I typically take, and that uh, entails going through an examination of all the scriptures involved first. So what I do is I take all the passages in question, right, all the passages that are triadic or that talk about, you know, God has, was seen or, you know, they saw under God's feet or uh, God is a spirit or uh, Jesus is says that, you know, before Abraham was, I am, or in the beginning was the word. We find all these passages that, that were usually used to discussing and i tried to put them all on the table for discussion first without trying to understand them i just put them on the table because they become part of my investigative process i like to call this the scientific method it's similar to what you might see on say one of these programs on tv that you've seen before the kind of the csi programs um these investigative programs where in an effort to undercut uncover what took place at a crime scene they gather all of the crime evidence from the scene and they put all of that on the table first they don't know what it means yet but they need it there for examination they need it to be able to add an element to the investigative process even if they don't know where it fits into the puzzle yet that's what we really need to do when we're looking at god's word which bring all the verses and put them on the table for examination